Tuesday, July 2nd, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, as most of you know, today was the total solar eclipse day, visible from the southern hemisphere, totality visible from Chile, Argentina, and southern Uruguay, or if you were on a ship out in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, or the Central Pacific Ocean for that matter. But I think I noticed something very unusual on the top of this Category 4 hurricane that's out in the Pacific Ocean off the southern coast of Mexico. Here it is on the GOES-17 West satellite. Today I was watching the shadow of the moon go across the Pacific Ocean as we were approaching totality. Then I noticed something on top of this hurricane. you got to keep in mind that is a very tall storm that is right at the edge of the field of view of the path of the total eclipse. And there is a storm right here. And Let me show you where the storm's at right there off of the southern coast of Mexico. So it's in the field, quite possibly tall enough to have picked up some reflections from this eclipse. At least that's what I think I'm looking at. Here's what I saw, and here's the satellite loop. There goes the shadow, and there goes what looks like eclipses on the top of that hurricane. I put together a slideshow to make it a little more visible or easier to see. Here are some examples of solar eclipses, and they appear in dozens whenever they're casted on the ground through trees and a variety of different things. And this is just a few examples of what I think you're going to see on top of this hurricane. And you got to keep in mind this storm's very tall, so it would have had a little better chance of picking up some reflections from this total eclipse. I've never seen a combo like this, a major hurricane in the middle of a total eclipse eclipse. I've never seen that before, so this very well could be what we're looking at. The top of the hurricane covered in eclipse shadows. At least that's what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in really close, use multiple filters, and give you guys a really good look at the Ghost 17 West here. You see it right there, what looks like pepper flakes on it. Obviously it's going to be in pixels, not circles, because of the distance that we are away from the surface of the ocean or the top of this hurricane. But you're going to see they're perfectly in sync. There goes the shadow, there go the shadows on top of the hurricane. Unbelievable. I've never seen a major hurricane in the middle of a total eclipse, so I wouldn't know how it would react. And certain satellites might have a better view than others. That's why this one picked it up, and maybe other ones didn't. This is the Go 17 West, and it's stationed above the Pacific. Look at that. And it's right in unison with the shadow of the moon. And you got to keep in mind, the shadow is moving left to right. The moon is actually moving right to left across the surface, or that's from our perspective on the surface of the Earth. Here comes a closer look at what appear to be those shadows from the total eclipse on top of this hurricane. That's a Category 4 hurricane. Just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that, especially both at the same time. I've seen eclipses and I've seen hurricanes, but never at the same time sharing the same ocean, basically. And that's what I think we saw right there this afternoon. That was at the peak time during totality. And that's what that uh, storm is trying to show us, I think. Here's another format dark is light and light is dark and you can see the light marks I think are the eclipse. Just an amazing sight guys I've never seen anything like that it could not be maybe it's something else I don't know but it's highly coincidental that when we see this shadow right down here go through you're gonna see all these specks on top of the hurricane at the same time. Pretty neat have never seen that before. Wow Major Hurricane has one of the best seats in the house for viewing the total solar eclipse of July 2nd, 2019. <laughs> Just incredible. These are different formats that I'm showing you guys that I've ran through different filters to try to get a little better look at what we're actually looking at here. Like I said, they're going to show up as pixels, but I do think those are reflections from the total solar eclipse on the GOES-17 West Satellite that does monitor the Pacific Ocean where this storm is currently at. It's currently a Category 4 storm with wind speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. It's a very tall storm. That's probably why it was picking up 
the reflections because of its height. If it were just regular clouds like that are low down here, they didn't pick it up. But this is so tall, I think it was able to pick up the reflections. At least that's how I'm perceiving this based off of the time of the shadow going through right there. As the shadow goes through, these shadows appear on top of the hurricane. When the shadow disappears, the shadows on top of the hurricane disappear. Shadow, shadows. No shadow, no shadows. So they're right in unison with the total eclipse. So pretty neat. I just found that very, very fascinating. Like I said, I've never seen an eclipse, especially a total eclipse, in unison with a major hurricane sharing basically the same part of the ocean. And I think that's what we saw. The top of that hurricane reflected the total eclipse. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.